well, well. Back to this, this familiar, this familiar space after a um, a day hiatus of this. The usual way before I get into this stuff. The usual way I do this is I do a mission arc a day, and then I upload it. So, yeah. Uh, so that's why like Chicago and G5 were like same day. But anyway, welcome back to the Perfect Dark Perfect Age of Playthrough. Um, we are starting, what about halfway, I think this might be the halfway point of this game, if I'm not mistaken, but, uh, this is, uh, the first of three Area 51 missions, and these missions, these missions can, can range from being really fun to being a downright nightmare. Um, I used to, when I was, when I was younger, I used to, coin this as the part in which the game stops being fun but we're gonna go through it because this is an entire game playthrough so area 51 infiltration obviously are we gonna be playing on perfect agent and um, as per usual roll ready the pause buttons as I scroll down that way you can read the paragraphs of course a lot of story to explain though so yeah get ready for the cutscene okay joanna take a look at this our operative inside area 51 was able to get this out to us this is your entry point a deserted helipad on the edge of the base the lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall watch out for these guards here's the communications antenna Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. Again, watch out for hostiles. Oh my god. Here is our friend. He appears to be physically in heart, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with their preliminary tests and will begin this action soon. But who was... Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Agent Dark, mission log, 1028 hours. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. Yeah. Alright, so right away, we're gonna we're gonna go unarmed. I'm gonna try to get a disarm on this guy. Because those two guys just run for the turret. And I obviously don't want that activated. So, we'll move up. Uh, there's probably two enemies over here. Yeah. Kind of having a chat or something. I don't know. One of those guys actually, um, this level, uh, along with the with Chicago stealth, there's a couple levels in this game actually that, like, how fast you skip the cutscenes determines where the first enemy is spawned. So, like, if you were just mashing A through that cutscene, for example, like, that guard would be right in front of you and you would instantly get detected. So you would have to, like, quickly disarm him. But there's a point where you can just wait until he's, like, behind you and you can just kind of turn around quickly and just kill him instantly because you're behind him with a melee attack. But, yeah, pretty cool dynamic for a game that was developed in 2000. Um, so here... There's landmines in here. I don't want to deal with them. So those mines kill you instantly. Now, there we have to kill some hovercraft, and there's one like somewhere around here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for this uh, this MLG Pro nade right here. No, I didn't get it. I was never really good with nades anyway. So, especially in this game. There's someone here. Oh, hi. How you doing? Whoa, what the hell? Collision detection. Like I, like I keep saying, it's me in 2000. Nah, we'll just shoot it. Um, actually, if you wait, um, because like you, like you're supposed to um attach the car. Like you can do these objectives in a non-linear fashion as long as you don't complete the last objective, or you'll just fail the mission. 
but like in that instance right there um you're supposed to go down this tunnel way to my left first and attach a bug on a satellite and there's two intercepts there you have to destroy so like if you destroy those like you'll come back up here and that intercept will actually be active shoot at you and obviously i don't i don't want to deal with that because it's perfect age and those things those things destroy you pretty much this is a this is a tough area right here because as you can see there's enemies on each side and like it's impossible to just alert one of them and not the other so they just pretty much always shoot at you i failed this mission a lot as a kid that's like i ca i i think i know these area 51 missions the best out of any of the missions in this game because i played them so much you gotta be really careful with these guards because they they will throw grenades at you, and if they hit you, you, you will die. So yeah, so like right now, I'm just shooting these things with my Falcon too. So. The turret there, but we don't even really have to go that way. If you play on a lower difficulty, there's a shield over there, but since we're playing on perfect agent, there's no shields. There's no reason for us to go there. Those guys will pursue you. Um, there's a guy uh, dual wielding Magsec fours that's behind me that you might have noticed, but we're just we're just gonna go ahead and just walk right by him. I usually don't even go this far out, but I'm just kind of doing this just to do it. But yeah, see, look, look at him. I'll kill like one, and then I'll keep moving. I really should just kill them all because they somehow get here. I'm not really sure how, because they never, to my knowledge, open up that door. Wait, do I have the key card? Before I... Okay, yeah, I do. Sometimes I'll forget to get the key card. Destroy these lasers. Don't want to deal with them. Kind of a speedrunning tactic, even though I'm not really doing a speedrun, per se. I am using a lot of tricks that are featured in speedruns, just because they look nice and makes the game go a little bit faster you're not just crouch walk under some lasers because <sighs> yeah you you could take like three or four bursts from a dragon on perfect agent and you're you're restarting the mission and i'm trying to do i'm trying to do a no death run since i'm like i'm like halfway through the game and i still haven't died yet so i figured I might as well try to go for it so no sweat if i don't but, like, I'm trying to do it. Like, actively. Oh my god. Woo! That was close. Hey, you seen him, right? He was, like, priming that grenade. That was crazy. Try to shoot that guy. Right, yeah. Some of these shots are really difficult to hit. Like, with auto-aim off. But it makes, the it makes the game more fun, in my opinion. That guy still is alive? Killer. The glare in here is really bad if you haven't noticed. I'm sorry, there's not really much I can do about that, but yeah, it's real bad. But yeah, it's like I could play this game with aim assist on and all that, all that nice stuff, but like true true for true wow, can't talk. Truthful I did not want to use that, but I'm out of ammo. I gotta go. I gotta disarm this guy. Oh, that's what happens when I when I'm talking sometimes. Like I just don't I don't like realize what's really going on. So like I didn't know I didn't have any ammo, so I just wasted my rocket. So oh well. I need this gun. I can't believe that actually just worked. I'm like, I'm like grasping at straws here for ammo. This is gonna be really close. Woo! All right, we're gonna try something. Later, idiots. Agent Dark, over here. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if. If what? If you've been discovered yet, and frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends. 
I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay. Forget about it. I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. That actually went a lot better than I thought it was gonna go to be. I thought I was going to die at least once on this mission. But I didn't, so... Luckily, that's infiltration completed. Um, let me check out leaderboard score. And the next mission we will be doing is rescue. So, yep, Area 51 rescue next up. Still in Area 51.